Lone Wolf Customs once again coming back at you with oh here's the motor yep 420 Predator electric start of course no battery hooked up supposedly the starter's bad don't know yet keys in the on position fuel on and let's see put it in the start position i don't know if i can do this holding the camera or not let's find out Pretty good to me. Also today, picked this up. Which I don't know if y'all can see it. There's numbers on it. Picked it up at Harbor Freight. It's actually a, I think it's for drywall. So you can loosen this. And that, you know, kicks over. Yeah, you can do drywall this part I don't care about but this nut and everything will be great for the sawmill so I can mount it on the sawmill and loosen that nut move it up or down if I need to adjust it and I can have me an indicator running up and down on it to tell me that hey I've moved down an inch or up an inch you know it's not one of those fancy magnetic deals like other people have, but it was less than 20 bucks. And it's aluminum. If nothing else, it'd work as a straight edge if I don't end up using it for that. So I've got an engine. I've got that. What else do I got? All right. For what it's worth, holes are done. Those are the last two, that one and that one. And measuring between that hole and that first block, that's 20 feet. All right. Now, so all the holes are done unless I decide to go a little bit further that away to have a place for the sawmill. So cut area would be from here to here. So all that area would be the potential cut area. But, since the width of the saw, there's a front and back of the legs where it goes like this and comes up, they have to fit if I'm cutting a 20 foot. So that means I would need however long that would be extra here and however long that extra that would be that away. Now, realistically, I ain't sure how often I'll be cutting a 20 footer mostly it'll probably be for beams if I do cut any 20 footers uh, you know vertical like a six by six beam maybe a four by six cross beam or something similar to that maybe is the only times I could see me cutting something 20 foot long it's not that I'm going to be doing it a lot it's just more of a factor that you know it is nice to have that capability so that means I need to let's say add you know let's say from the front to the rear of the carriage is three foot it means I'd have to add three foot past that or four foot past that and I'd have to add three foot or four foot past that to have a place for the saw to sit if there's a 20 foot log here I'm not sure if I really will. I probably will down here for the fact that where the corner of the building is, 
that's as far this away as that log can come is down the side here so let's say I'm rolling a log in and this is the end I have no place for the saw so coming this away to have a place for the saw would be fine and since you're talking literally four more holes and a little bit more concrete the more issue is the fact that I'd have to buy probably an entire another stick to get the let's say eight inches or eight feet I mean if we're talking well if you're talking four that's four four so that's eight plus four four so that's 16 so 16 foot of a 20 foot stick so I'd have to get a 20 foot stick to do that which I cannot remember what a 20 foot stick cost even though I just bought it <clears throat> actually I'm not I think I could fit another four foot here I definitely could fit four foot over there but literally that would be just for the storage of the saw where when you go all the way through it has a place to be with the boards and log sitting here and this would be where it can store as I'm loading a log in I don't know I'm gonna consider it most likely I will do it over here but see these don't have to be structural this has to support the saw and whatever the log weighs this only has to support the saw and on that end only has to support the saw so that means I don't have to build it as heavy if I so choose honestly just for appearance I probably will build it just as heavy because I'm a lone wolf and that's what lone wolves do they overbuild things because they don't want to have to redo it later but that's currently where I'm at let's see where we're going to be in a sec all right added two more pillars down here because here's where the end was four feet over added two more which I had to get creative to make it tall enough um, where my saw will sit <clears throat> and done that one that one that one and yes, they're getting closer to the ground the further over that way I go, so it uses less concrete. And I got those. <laughs> Ran out of concrete, so I couldn't pour any in this one. But I got that one, and then I got two more holes to dig for the extension on this side. Because when you're, if you're standing here, approximately here should be the four foot from those. All the way down there. Is the end of the sawmill and between that hole and that hole right there or that one that post and that hole is 20 foot four foot over here four foot over there so that'd be 28 feet total and that gives me the ability to cut a 20 foot log through the middle here and have a place for the saw at the end and a place for the saw at the end which i probably already have said that even with the concrete mixer this is a pain especially when you figure the expensiveness of concrete concrete ain't cheap when you're spending five to six dollars a bag and each one takes three to four bags so yeah that adds up real quick but <clears throat> that's what we're into that's what we're doing that looks crooked on the camera but it's not it's actually straight but anyways I don't know weird things that cameras do I guess but uh yeah that's currently where we're at um i guess this will be the end of this video because there ain't really much to say at this point next video 
should get the rest of those done and then we can start building the actual saw it's kind of not wanting to make a half a dozen freaking videos on building the foundation but unfortunately that seems to be kind of what's going on i don't know one intro and two videos involving all this shit i guess i think that's what i meant i don't know Tune in next time, same lone wolf place, same lone wolf time, for more lone wolfness. Alright, bye.